So this one, really nice box. So I wanted to bring it out in the box. It kind of folds out and there's actually a, like a, a little puzzle on the inside there and the bottle comes out. How cool is that? Uh, I'm also gonna hold up bottles like this because it's good for the cover, I think. Uh, anyway, this is, this is the Artful Dodger. Um, 10 year old corn whiskey Heaven Hill finished in a, a port pipe and um, the packaging is just really cool. I mean, yeah, it, it looks like a ripped off label and it's got like this nice gold, gold text to it. I mean, if I was given a gift, I think this would look uh, really ace. But again, this is a corn whiskey, so much like the bourbons, it's going to be uh, a sweeter, sweeter one. Port pipe is what they store port in. So you're gonna get that um, influence of the port flavor at the end. Sweet, again, I don't know how this is to differentiate, but it smells sweet. It's got like a, a dark, a medium sort of color. Um, it looks very much like the bourbons that I've tried before. So this does taste a lot more alcohol. So this is 59.3%. So it's, um, yeah, you definitely get that like, that like menthol-y like hit. But I quite like that. I think I quite like high percentages because I quite like that sort of like punch in the face sort of like feel. But it's really nice. It's like, it's like a bourbon with the kind of sweetness, but I'm, I'm guessing it's the influence of that port pipe that makes it, makes it have this like, I don't know, like a, a ready sweetness. I don't know how that sounds. Yeah, that sounds really like weird to say, but. Yeah, if you can get your hands on this, um, I managed to get one, but if you can get your hands on this, this is really nice. Uh, if you can't get your hands on, then let me know, and if you want me to send you a sample, then I think I'm sure I can source it out somehow. But yeah, mm, that's um, really nice. Because that's the thing that I found with whiskey, is the problem is, is you want to try all these whiskeys, but you end up buying like liters of bottles, and you, like, I haven't got that many here. I've got quite a few rums, to be fair. But I'm starting to get more and more whiskies, but I'm just not finishing them, but there's more that I want to try. So, I mean, I think, I think people do it already. People do swaps, don't they, in the whiskey world. And I think that just makes sense. Like, and the, actually, I suppose a good thing about these, these are 50 mil as well. So I'm guessing more people can actually get their hands on these liquids. Because again, this is one of, oh, one of 381 bottles. So I'm guessing by being slightly smaller, it means more people can actually get access to it. So. Yeah, wow. I mean, like, impressive packaging, impressive looking bottle, sweet with a nice, as I call it, red fruit <laughs> finish. But um, yeah, I, again, I don't think it's as complex as the Cut Your Wolf Loose one I had before, but I would still give that like a solid like 7.5 out of 10. I think, yeah, that's really. And when you, when you talk about my scale, like 10 is like, I don't think I'll ever get a 10. So just put that in comparison. When I say one to 10, you might think, oh, 7.5 is not really that high, but actually like you're never gonna hit 10. So 7.5 is actually pretty up there.